first thing I want to do is impress upon you guys that about 30 years ago, maybe 35, um, it took about a dozen PhD researchers about two weeks to isolate DNA from a bacterium like E. coli. This is the DNA of E. coli. So again, 12 PhD researchers, two weeks to extract a very minuscule amount of DNA. You, lowly high school students, with no PhD or any degrees after your name, are going to do this in about 20 minutes. That's how fast DNA technology has moved okay, over the last three decades. We're going to work with an organism, strawberries. You are about to be amazed at how much DNA is in a strawberry. And you will never eat another strawberry the same way again. I'll guarantee it. You'll start to see the DNA coming out of solution at the interface, yes? Those are strands of DNA. Now, you want to spool, you want to get this DNA out. There's a way to do this. I'm going to show you with Miriam. I'm going to start Miriam's. The DNA is a continuous strand, isn't it? It's like spaghetti. You ever roll spaghetti on a fork? You always roll one way, yes? What happens if you roll the other way? There you go. So, you're going to use this spool. So I'm going to go down into the... And then I'm going to bring it up into solution. And now I'm going to start to spool as I do this. Now you got to do it fairly slowly because you don't want to break the DNA. If you break it, it's called shearing and then you're going to have all little pieces of DNA. Now do you see how I've got the strand? Do you see how it's coming out? And then I'm going down and grabbing that. Okay, and, I'm, and so Miriam, you're going to continue doing this, what I'm doing. You see how it's coming on the rod? See, look at it. You see it? All right, so now you want to take the loop out. Take the loop out and sort of twirl it as you're taking it out so you get the rest of the DNA. Megan, that is unbelievable. Hold it up, look at Megan's. That's from one strawberry, Megan. You will never eat a strawberry the same way again. Okay, take out your rods. Put your test tubes in the rack. Take a look at that DNA. Why so much DNA? Strawberries were artificially, over the centuries, cross-pollinated, and we got into what's called artificial selection of strawberries. If you look at our cells, whether we're human, whether we're an elephant, doesn't matter, how much DNA is in that cell in terms of N number? somatic cells, not the sex cells, the somatic cells. How many N? 2N. What word does 2N mean? Yep. Because di means two. Ladies and gentlemen, strawberry cells. Are octoploid. Four times as much DNA in every strawberry cell because of all this artificial selecting that's been going on over the, over the centuries, okay? Um, so that's why there's so much DNA in there. So the next time you chow down on a strawberry, think about all the DNA that you are also chowing down. That's pretty cool.